everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and welcome to the last day of the gift giving holiday series. So for today, I am going to be doing this cute little Hershey's bar. So what I've done is just cut a sheet of paper that would fit around this Hershey bar. And this big bar happened to be seven inches long. So I just happened to take note of that because I'm just in the process of doing it now. I did put some really strong double adhesive on one side of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap this around and press this tightly so that it stays really secure. So there's that, isn't that super cute? So let's get started with decorating our cute little treat. All right, and what you see here is a cute little poem and it's to the thing, theme of Jingle Bells. And what it is is basically they got too busy, they were running through the malls, and they ended up making Christmas fudge. And this is the Christmas fudge, which is a chocolate bar wrapped up. So it's just a cute little play on words. And so I just printed this out on printer paper, just put it on some nice cardstock on the back of it, punched a little hole, and that's going to go here. So I'm going to set this aside for now because we're going to get started on this cute little gingerbread girl. So I've gone ahead and added her cute little bow. I did cut this out from the silhouette so I can give you that silhouette number when I am finished with this here. So it's got a few layers with it. It's got a white layer. So I'm just gonna take some tape and put it on the back here. And then I will put that here. And you know what, I just realized that I think this bow is supposed to go at the very top. I did not realize that. I thought it went on first. So let's see if I can just kind of fix that and scooch the bow under there. I think that'll work fine. So there's that. The next layer that we've got is a black layer and that'll go on and then this is where the eyes are going to show through. So let me put that on here like this. Try to scooch that under there. There we go and I will scooch. I like this because all these layers go together really nicely like the uh, Create a Critter layers do, which I love. And so here's my little gingerbread girl, and I did add some faux stitching to the outside of her. I am going to put her together the same way, which is mostly with tape. And for the little areas that I can't get to with my tape, then I will take my little glue that I have here and go ahead and just go around the little edges here being a little mindful that it does squirt out quite a bit. So we'll just do that and a little on the side here. And once again, tucking inside this here. Hopefully that'll go in there well. Let's see, I'm trying to scooch this over just a little to kind of line all that up. There we go, I think that worked out perfect. The little bow will just kind of flip over the top there. I'll need to add a little bit of glue here, kind of reattach it there. And it went on pretty thick, so I'm just going to do it like that. There we go. So now what I'm going to do to add a couple extras to this cute little snow, uh, not snow girl. That's, I keep wanting to call her snow girl. I'm not sure why, but she is a gingerbread girl. So what I'm going to do now is get out my Accent Essentials. This is a really good heavy duty glue. I'm going to get out my quick stick because I'm going to be picking up a few little rhinestones and I'll put this together. The rhinestones that I have here are called Crystal Heart Embellishment and I got these when I was in England. But I'm sure there's something like it at Michael's or Joann's or one of those stores. So what I'm going to do is use these as my buttons. If you don't have this, I think sequins would be a really cute idea. Rhinestones would be a great idea. Or even if you had buttons, that would be another cute idea. I just really happen to like these little hearts. I think they're super sweet. So I'm going to kind of place them where I think they should go. And then I'm going to take some of my glue, my Accent Essential glue here. It's getting toward the bottom, so it's a little bit harder to get out of here. There we go, and I will put that right here. And when I'm doing three of them like this, I do one at the top, one at the bottom, and then I center the middle one. If I do rhinestones or anything like that, I try to remember to do this because it just helps keep everything looking more in alignment, I think. So I'll do this one here, a little bit of 
glue on this one. Oh, bummer. That came, went over there. All right, well, if I can wipe that up pretty quick. I'll just use my fingers since I don't have anything else. Hopefully that'll dry okay. All right, so I got that there. Okay, so I'm just going to wait for those to dry. Okay, so there's that. The next step that I'm going to do is add some little googly eyes. So for the googly eyes, I'm just going to fill in these little eyes here. And the next step that I'm going to do is add the cute little googly eyes onto there like that. There's the first one. And I get my googly eyes. You can get them at Walmart. I've seen them at Michael's. I've seen them at Hobby Lobby. So there's a couple different places that carries them. And I've even seen that the dollar store has them too. So there's the eyes I've got on there. So for the next step that I'm going to do, I want to add another rhinestone. So I'm thinking, I was just going to do a circle rhinestone, but I'm actually thinking I'm just going to do another little heart right in the center here. I think it needs a little something right here. So I will add a little heart right there. Get that added here. There we go. And there's a cute little heart right here for the center of that. This is looking so cute. All right, so this does need to dry. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back and finish the rest of this here. I'll give you a close up here before we come back. Okay, so what I've gone and done is tied a cute little bow on there and added these cute, they look like fake diamonds. And these, I've shown these in another video before. These are uh, David Tutera. These are on clearance at Michael's for $3.99 and you get 160 of them. And they're so cute and I love them. I know you're supposed to sprinkle them on a table when you get married, but I think these are perfect for craft projects. And I often check the wedding section for clearance items so that I can use them in my projects. So I also punched a little hole in this cute little girl here. So she's going to get attached to this one right here. And what I have is one of these garment, garment safety pins. And so they're bulbous at the end, which is perfect for when you want to put something on like adhering it to a bow it's absolutely perfect for this let me show you how i do this i usually just go where the knot is here on this bow so i would just kind of go in here with my little pin and push it through there we go and then when i get it through i take whatever i'm going to be adhering so i've got my little poem and i've got my cute little gingerbread girl and I'm going to be pinning her right on to this. And so let me just adhere this here, close it up. And that is my cute little project. Isn't that adorable? And then I've got a sweet little poem that goes with it right there. So if you guys leave a comment on this video, I will pick a winner this Saturday and then announce it by Sunday and send this out into the mail to you guys. So thanks for much for playing along and watching the videos with the giveaway. You guys have been so sweet and thank you so much for your comments and I appreciate you subscribing and stay tuned because I have a little something fun planned where I'm going to be doing another giveaway for Christmas time. So stay tuned for that as well. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.